Hey girls and welcome back to my channel. It's Jama here and in today's video, we are going to learn how to make this beautiful dress with a princess dart and drawstrings. So the drawstrings are along the princess dart line. For this tutorial, I used crepe but you can use dutchess and I used four yards of fabric. For you to get this style, you need to buy at least four yards of dutchess or four yards of crepe fabric. I hope this dress is beautiful and please don't forget to subscribe and let's dive right into it. Now, these are the materials that I need. I have my pattern paper, I have my fabric and what I want to do is that I will draft on this paper first of all then transfer it to the fabric because cutting on the fabric may end up making this fabric less for me like it may not be enough for me so now i have two pattern papers here and the first thing that i'll do is to glue them together because this dress is a long dress and i want to cut the full length okay now i'll use my masking tape to hold this paper together and after doing that to start taking our body measurements the way we take our normal body measurements so the paper that i'll use for the front is the same thing that i'll use for the back and this dress does not have any zipper allowance so that makes it beautiful that makes it easy for me i don't want to add zipper to it okay now the first thing that i will do is to get my bust point measurements i'll place my tape i'll get my shoulder measurements my shoulder to my chest line is eight my shoulder to my bust point is 10 then my shoulder to the half length is 17. i'm not marking hip line here because the a line starts from the half length area and i'll get my full length the full length of this dress is 60 inches now i am done getting those horizontal measurements i'll go ahead and connect my lines so i'll connect the full length the half length the bust point the chest line and i'll label them and this is my chest line my bust point my half length and also my full length i'll get my hip line later but for now we don't need it now the next thing that we are going to do is to mark our shoulder my shoulder is 16 inches divided by two that is eight then the neckline that i'm using is four by four four by four the reason why i'm using four by four is because i want the neckline to enter my head freely and this four by four i'll make my back four by four also so that it will be a free dress once i get it i can wear it anywhere can be my front anywhere can be my back then after making the four by four i'll go ahead and connect now i am done connecting i will divide my shoulder into two that is eight and i will connect it straight down to my chest line after connecting straight down to my chest line i will mark my armhole curve and then i'll add one inch for my shoulder slants now this dress is a free dress when you are taking your body measurements you should add at least one 1.5 inches for one 1 1.5 for two inches for easy depends on how free you want this dress to be on your body now i'm getting my dart line my nipple to nipple is eight divided by two that is four so this dart line that i'm marking right now i'll take it down to the full length of this dress you know the way we cut these pieces skirt that is how i'm going to cut this the way we cut pieces pieces um, dresses that is how i'm going to cut this so i am taking this that's nine this for four inches straight down to my full length and after doing this i'll also mark a dart on this dress i'll go ahead and take out half an inch half an inch along the half length area of this dress okay now after doing this i'm done taking my four four inches line down to the full length i'll go ahead and find the midpoint of my armhole and that is for my shoulder to my chest line is eight the midpoint is four and i'll get my princess that line then i'll extend that princess that line by like extra two inches and after extending it i will recover my armhole okay i don't want to run shots of fabric around, around my armhole area now i'll also get my shoulder to my hip line the reason why i'm getting my shoulder to my hip line is because the dart line of this dress will stop at the hip line so this line that i marked here is 27 inches from my shoulder and i'll label it as the hip line now i will mark half an inch from my half line to one inch below my bust point i'll mark half an inch from my half length to one inch below my bust point and i will connect them to my hip line so now this is the dart line 
After connecting this dart line, the next thing that we are doing is taking our body measurement. So my bust is 36 divided by 4, that is 9. And I added extra 2 inches and that is 11. I added 2 inches for ease. There at my half length, I will mark what I have at my bust. I marked 11 at my bust and I'm marking 11 at my half length. I'm not taking my waist measurements because i want to have a little space so that when i drag my drawstring my fabric will gather a little around my waist so whatever you have at your bust take it down to your half length and then from that your half length you can now mark your a line you don't need to mark your hip line just from your half length mark your a line shape so this a line that i marked right here is quite wide okay so when i was cutting it i had to reduce this because the four yards was not so so enough this style actually consumed fabric more than i thought now after doing this we we'll go ahead and cut out this paper and this paper is what you are using to cut both the front and the back okay now after cutting the paper i'll go ahead and also divide my dart line after dividing my dart line i'll start cutting it on my fabric now this dress has loops along the princess that's line what you are going to do is that you are going to mark where your loops will be on you are going to indicate where you place your loops on this fabric okay so the loop will start around two inches below your bust point and it will stop at the half length so if you are marking your loops it should start, it should start from two inches below your bust point and it is top at your half length or you can take it below your half length if you want to now i am done cutting off my dart and i'll go ahead and divide this paper into two so after dividing this paper into two i will you know how we cut these pieces i will at the full length of this dress i'll add extra four to the center part of this dress so i'll just go ahead and write plus four plus four at the down part of that dress so that i remember now i will start marking where i want my loops to start from and my loop they will be 1.5 inch away from each other you can make them one one inch away from each other but i made my 1.5 and i marked five loops but later i reduced it to four I reduced it to four okay because i didn't want it to be too low now i am trying to make sure that the places that i indicated for my loop is okay now this is my fabric and we will start cutting i'll cut my center piece first of all so as i'm folding this fabric i'm folding it twice like the center piece i'll fold and fold again so that once i cut it i'll get the front and back at the same time and after folding i will notch those places that i want to fix my loop remember to notch the places that you fix your loop it will make the job easy for you so now after cutting the front i'll go ahead and cut the back then at the full length of this paper i added extra four inches then i connected from my half length down to the full length of the center front like i added extra four inches in order to give it that a line shape at the center okay so you can see how i connected it and i'll go ahead and cut then i added half an inch seam allowance around my princess that line and i'm cutting right now after doing that, I'll also cut out my neckline and we have two pieces now. I have my front and my back. Now, after doing this, I'll start notching. Like I'll notch the areas where I'll fix my loop. I have like five there. So I'm done notching the areas that I'll fix my loop so that whenever i want to fix my loop i will not find it difficult now let me open the pieces so that you can see i have to there you can see the areas that i notched this is my front i'll choose one for my front and one for the back since two of them are the same then the same way that i cut the center front is how i am going to cut the back the, the side pieces sorry so the side pieces will be four pieces two for the front two for the back so this is my fabric i'll go ahead and fold it in a way that it will be able to contain the four i did my first fold and i folded again so that if i cut i will have four pieces so as you are folding make sure that you are not running out of fabric because we are still going to cut our sleeve okay 
now after folding i'll place my paper on it so i noticed that this the a line the side of this a line was too much i had to reduce the side a line a little okay now after folding reduce the side a line a little and then you start cutting Now I am done cutting and if I open this up, you can see what I have. I have four pieces there, two on this side, two on the other side. Then the next thing that we are going to do is to cut out our sleeve and the sleeve is going to have an elastic at the full length. So I'll make this sleeve 30 inches so that after adding my elastic and if I wear it, it will pack a little. I'll make my full this full length of my sleeve 30 inches and the width should be around 12 11 inches then i'll go ahead and mark my 30 and i will connect my sleeve cuff and then down to the full length now after doing that i'll go ahead and cut out after cutting this out the next thing that we are going to cut is the the draw strings the strings that we are going to use to tie it so now if you want you can buy the rope in the fabric but if you, you can buy the loop there's this rope that they use for loops in the market you can buy that but if that is not accessible what you are going to do is that you cut out like 1.5 inch wide pieces long pieces they should be very long and after doing that you will fold them into tiny pieces and that is what you will use for your loop okay now this is one this one that i'm cutting now is for loop then i'll go ahead and cut out another two for drawstring you know one side we use one drawstring the other one we use another drawstring so now i'll go ahead and cut out extra two for my drawstring and the length is 60 inches but the 60 inches wasn't enough so if you're cutting your drawstring you should have at least 150 inches because this is a side lesson it will consume your robe so i'm telling you before time if you are cutting your rope make sure that it is up to one of them one is up to 150 the other one is what up to 150 so that when you are tying you will not run out of rope because me i ran out of the drawstring now the next thing is facing i'll fold twice so that when i cut once i'll get the front and the back facing after folding this fabric i'll get my my center piece and i'll place it on top then i'll cut out the neckline after cutting out the neckline i will come down by three inches and i'll cut out my facing so now this is the facing and the first thing that i'm going to do on this dress is to go ahead and turn the necklines with facing now i am done turning this one with facing i am done turning the other one with facing and i'm done folding my loop so now i'll go ahead and cut out three three inches pieces this one was actually thick because of the type of fabric that i'm using i'm using a thick crepe this crepe is somehow thick so i'll go ahead and cut 20 pieces of this 10 for the front 10 for the back you know it is side by side so 10 for the front 10 for the back it depends on the number of loop you want to add now after cutting all this i'll go ahead and fix them along the notched areas and i will sew on them first of all after sewing on them then i will come back and join the side pieces so first of all fix your loop before joining side pieces it will make the job easy for you okay now after doing that i'll also hem the full length of our sleeve now this is for the back i'll fix the loops around along the notched areas now i'll also hem the full length of my sleeve the hemline of my sleeve and after hemming it i'll go ahead and insert my elastic if i insert my elastic i will join 
So if you start spinning, then you will continue. Then after doing that, you go ahead and join the sides. Now I am done fixing my loop and I have turned the neckline with a facing. This is what we have. The next thing is to fix is to join the side pieces. So I'll go ahead and join the side piece of this one. I'll also go ahead and join the side piece of the other one. Now this is for the front. I'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. Now this one is the back. I'll go ahead and join the pieces. This is how I will join it. And I like the color of this fabric. I love plain fabric. If you've been following me, I work better with plain fabrics and I love it. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and join them. I'll come back and show you guys. Now after joining them, this is what we have. Please ensure you ensure to like iron all your seam allowance it is important then i'm cutting off the excess princess that it is better to have excess than for it to reduce this is the front and i will get the back after doing this i'll i'll place the two of them together and join at the sides you close the side seam you use like one inch or half an inch to join the sides and then close your shoulder after doing that you will iron properly and after ironing you can go ahead and add your sleeve so this is the shoulder i will use one facing to turn then i'll arrange it very well after arranging i will use one inch to join because i don't want this dress to be too loose on my body after doing this, I'll go ahead and join. So once you get to your half length, you can join straight down. Now, after joining, this is what I have. I'll go ahead and trim my armhole. Just trimming this armhole, I'll trim the other armhole. Then I'll go ahead and fix my sleeve. And that is it, guys. After fixing your sleeve, you will fix your drawstring. So, guys, we have so many online classes. We have about 15 online classes. Blazer, transparent corset, jumpsuits, joggers, trousers, kiddies. So many classes. So, if you want to join any of these classes, just feel free to send me a DM. I'll drop my WhatsApp number in the comment section so that you can register. Also, our mobile app will launch on the 30th of April. On that mobile app, you'll be able to take online classes seamlessly. Like, you don't have to wait. Once you download the app, you can make your payments there. You can see your videos immediately. And it doesn't take up so much space like Telegram. You know, on Telegram, sometimes you will have to download and re-download. But on this app, taking online classes will be seamless. You don't have to wait, waste so much data. And anytime you want your classes, you will see them there. So now I am tying my drawstrings. And at the end of the day, our dress is set. You can see that my robe wasn't so enough. That's why I said your own should be up to 150 inches. Thank you all. Bye.